Hi everyone, welcome to a work in progress. I'm Joanne and welcome to a mid-week thrift haul. I have several items that I want to share with you today. Some I'm going to be keeping for myself. Most of them are going to be for resale either directly on my YouTube channel or Poshmark or eBay or in live sales which, by the way, I'm going to start doing weekly on Monday evenings at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I hope that you'll be able to join me for some of them. Up front, let me apologize if you hear a little background noise. My dishwasher is going right now, but, you know, such is life. Sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. So, with all of that said, let me go ahead and get started showing you what I found. First, I'll show you the things that I'm going to save for myself. I uh, found this yard stake, really big. I think the dimensions might be on it because it was brand new. Uh, let me see if it does give the dimensions. It is a 42 inch yard hanger. I paid $4 for it, which I think was a really good price. It doesn't say what the original retail value on it was, but I'm, I know it wasn't going to be $4. I was really happy to find this. I'm going to put this out in my front yard. And what I'm thinking about doing with that is I want to make my own wind chime. I saw Dee make one a while back at um, uh, Thrill of the Thrift out using uh, utensils from the kitchen. I thought it was really cool. She made hers look like an owl. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm just kind of looking for things as I, as I am out thrifting. But that I'll be keeping for myself. Let me see what else. Oh, this was a happy find. <laughs> This is a whole bag of little bottle brush trees and wreaths. And I paid a total of $2 for that bag. Super happy to find this. I remember I actually picked this up on the way to the cash register while you were waiting in line, you know, your six feet distance. And I guess somebody had put it back, just stuck it on the counter. So I snatched it up right away. Very happy with this. Very happy with these as well. Um, they are, it's a bag of joined candles and the bag was two dollars and if you're not familiar with joint candles let me show you what they look like it's pretty much just whoop come on now what it sounds like they would be they are joined together by the wick i have a collection of them i've got a bunch of them here in north carolina and then i have a bunch of them no actually i brought them home with me I did not put them in storage down in North Carolina because I was afraid they might melt. Although um, I do have a climate controlled storage unit down there, but I was really happy to find all of those joined candles to add to my collection. Let me see, what else am I going to be? Oh, these little guys I'm keeping. I have a collection of vintage Santa mugs going on. So I found this little guy, he was a dollar. He is, let's see, made in Taiwan, not dishwasher safe. Really happy to find him. And he had a little friend, an identical little friend, and he also was a dollar. We're really happy to find those. I love picking these little guys up. Uh, let me see, what else? I think, I think that's it for what I'm gonna be keeping for myself. So everything else is for resale. Um, if you do see anything that you might be interested in purchasing directly from me, go ahead and shoot me an email at the address that will be in the description box. So I found these two little, I think they're from, yes, they are the two little elves from Home Co. I'll show them to you one at a time. This little guy looks like he's holding a sailboat. And there is the sticker on the bottom. I paid a dollar for him. And here is his little friend. Not sure. Now that I look at this, what does he got in his hand? It almost looks like a knife. And that little doll baby there. And she doesn't look very happy. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that before. But have him too. He has his sticker on the bottom and he was a dollar as well. This, I don't know if this was a mistake picking this up, but I thought it was so, so cool. Look at this. It's for the top of like a liquor bottle. You would put that in the liquor bottle and then tip it over and the liquor would come out here. But it looks like an old, um, oh my gosh, a suit of armor, the helmet for a suit of armor. I thought this was so cool. I paid $4 for it. Like I said, hope that wasn't a mistake. 
I don't see any like markings on it as to who might have made it, but really cool. I don't think I've ever seen a piece out like out. I don't think I have ever seen a piece like this out while thrifting. Goodness, that was a mouthful for me. Found this little guy for $1.99. He is cast iron, and you can see it's a little can in here. It's in very good condition, although at the very, very tip of it, which might be hard to make out, it looks like there was a break in the very tip of it. But really cool piece. The wheels move. Uh, let me see. Oh, there is a marking on the bottom of it. What does this say? That sticker. It, oh my gosh. It's a bunch of N-A or N-C. It might be Japan. It's really hard to make out. I'm going to have to get a magnifying glass out to look at that. I'll show it to you. I don't know if you're going to be able to make it out. If you guys have younger eyes than I do, you might be able to. But I thought that was really cool. This would be cool for, you know, folks that could, oh, this little thing goes up and down too. The cannon barrel itself. For, you know, Civil War buffs or just military buffs in general. Really cool. Um, next I found this. I think I'm going to put this in my booth um, because shipping this would be just crazy. This was $1.99, and it's a worn, red-handled um, rolling pin. And some of you have very kindly been asking about my booth. Just a little update on it. It did open on June the 1st. Um, in retrospect, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think right now was the best time to open a physical antique booth space. Oh. Uh, Traffic in June was very slow. I did not make my rent in June, so I had to pay in, which was not my plan. That's not how I wanted things to go. We're into July now. Uh, the last time I looked, I did only have one sale for July. I have a few more areas that I want to kind of tidy up a little bit, and I will be sharing a video with you of the space. I have recorded it from day one, so you'll get to see the progression of it, but I do thank you for those that have been asking about it, and thanks for your patience on it as well, but I will get that to you, I do promise. So I think this is going to be going into the, the booth space. Oh, I have to put him somewhere where he doesn't roll off the table. There we go. Uh, this is really cool, I think. I paid $1.99 for this, and let me show it to you. It will hang on this little bamboo rod, right there. And there's the little rod for it, which would go, where are you? Right through here. Come on. Oh, it's, it's stuck in the hem. Ah, uh, come on now. There we are. And then this would go in here. And then move my fat little fingers. There we go. So there we go. All of that to show you this. But I hope it is worth it. So it's the... And it's upside... It's upside down. Let's just pretend this... So sorry is here. Now we'll go through it. So it has all of the months on it. And I think, gosh, is this cruel or embroidery? This might be cruel. I am not sure. And I am guessing that those are the flowers here are the flowers for each month. And I think it is because if I'm not mistaken, that might be a, oh my gosh, what is that called? But I believe that that is the flower of the month for May. That is my birth month, but the name now escapes me. But all the different flowers on it, really, really pretty piece. And then the lace on the outside of it, I had to pick this up. I thought that was really pretty. And that's got some age to it and was hand done, which I greatly appreciate. Uh, next, I picked up a bag of little tea light candles. For two dollars, I'll show them to you. And it's all little different, different birds. Now they're not new, made in China, but I thought they were really, really, really pretty. So we have this one, and the tea lights did come with them. The tea lights have not been used. Oh, he's an ornament. 
I thought he was another tea like him. That's the thing with those little goodie bags, as I call them. Sometimes you think you know what you're getting in the bags, and obviously sometimes you don't. So he's a little, you can hang him up. Really, really cute, though. I don't know my birds, so I don't know what kind they are. This one I know. This one is a cardinal. I hope I know a cardinal. And he is a little tea light candle holder. So I thought those were really, really cute. Oh, two dollars for those. Another little grab bag, little goodie bag for two dollars. And it is a set of four of these parrot heads. They may be macaws, I'm not sure, but these little parrot heads, that's what I'm gonna say. Um, napkin holders, really cute. I don't think these are old. They don't appear to be. The stickers have been removed. Yeah, the stickers have been removed. I'm quite certain they are not old, but it's a set of four of them, and they're all in really good condition. You know, that's the other thing with these little bags. And they put especially the ceramics together, and people go through the bags. Sometimes the little pieces get chipped and stuff, and it's kind of sad. But those I lucked out. This is another thing that I couldn't leave behind. I thought it was so cool. It's a Presto timer for your stove. Paid $3.99 for it, and you can see it's a bit beat up. And what does it say on the back? Turn past five, then set to time. National Pressure Cooker, uh, LeClaire, Wisconsin, USA. So he's definitely been used. I'm not gonna push it past now just because of the time. It, it does work, it's kind of funky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So this I think would be just more decor in a vintage kitchen. But I thought it was really cool. Uh, this I picked up at my Habitat. My local habitat it was in their free uh, they have like a not a bin any longer they have just a uh, a rack a, kind of a storage rack of freebies so I just picked up this little mug I thought it was kind of cute with the chickadee on it it's on both sides and it is from West Germany I will not try and say that top word there although I did take two years of German that was a lifetime ago uh, this is another whoop, this is another freebie that I got also at the habitat. I thought this would make a really cute little planter uh, for a baby's room. Or you might be able to put little somethings in here for just a little um, a baby shower gift or something. And this was made in Taiwan. It does have some crazing to it because it's got some age. Picked up, I found another barista. Look at this one, it's so cute. With the little apron on it. I guess it's a little garden, oh sorry about that. A little garden apron. There she is close up, and there's her little back, her handkerchief in her um, pocket there. And this was from 2006, and this one doesn't have a tag on it. I don't remember what they charged me for this little one. I have just a few more things to share with you. Another Starbucks mug, Starbucks barista, Starbucks mug. This would be more, I would say, you know, toward fall, Christmas time but a very pretty mug in excellent condition. Uh, 16 fluid ounces on this one. And what year is this from? 2015. So you've been watching me for a while. You know me and my Starbucks mugs. I uh, picked up these, I'm gonna call them sugar shakers for $2.99. And they are the large, now they could be salt and pepper shakers too, but I know that the sugar shakers are quite popular. So I picked these two up. They have metal caps on them. Uh, oh, squeak. Oh, sorry about that. That one, that one's not too bad inside as far as wear goes. And let's see this one. Now this one on the exterior shows a little bit more wear than the other one did. But they're imperfect. The glass is imperfect. Oh, so sorry. Oh, that kills my ears. Glass is in perfect condition. There are no nick, you know, like little chips or anything out of them. Um, I don't know that, if any of you know that that symbol is right there, who that's from? I have no idea. This one, oh no, this one is made in Japan. So I'm gonna assume this one is too because it has the exact, oh wait, is that, is that Hazel Atlas? You guys that know this more than I do, if you could let me know in the comments down below, but they're identical, so they were both made in Japan. Now the inside of this one does show a bit of corrosion, 
So I'm going to try my barkeeper's friend to get that out. I have one more thing to share with you. This was a fun little bag. It was $2 and it's a little bag of all little vintage doll accessories. So I'll go quickly go through it with you. Oh my gosh, and they're still in here. Two ply Scott paper napkins. Oh my goodness, look at how cute. And then we have a little cap. Dolly di Dolly's diaper pins, oh my goodness. Oh, this must be for Cabbage Patch, which is the doll, but Cabbage Patch cereal. Let's see if it has a date on it. So, 1983. And, oh, we have a little, maybe a little pinafore there. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, how adorable. Another little one here. This one, it looks like it, oh, this one might be missing a little ribbon that goes through here and then goes at the end there too, but that's okay because it's still just as cute as it can be, and it'd be easy to find a ribbon for that. And here we have what might be a little pajama top. Oh, what is this? Cotton balls, I'm guessing. This is so cute. A little brush. Oh, let me see, what is this one? Quilted cotton, uh, cotton squares, coets, coets, coets. These are so adorable. Wait, oh my goodness, wait till you see this. Hold on, because some of them came out. <laughs> Two little things of, you know, Q-tips, cotton swabs. Uh, where's the other? Oh, only one little shoe, so we're missing a shoe. Little hairbrush, which is dirty, needs to be cleaned. Oh, a little hot water bottle, oh my goodness. How adorable. Oh, it even has a little stopper in it. These are so cute. Another little jar of cotton balls. Oh my goodness. A pipe? Why would a little cabbage patch need a pipe? A little booty, but that is in really bad condition. And then a couple more little random cotton swabs that were in there. That was fun. I think that was really fun. I knew that was gonna, well, I was hoping that was gonna be a good bag and it did turn out to be very fun. So my favorite out of everything that I've shown you, I think actually is going to be the last thing. All those little doll accessories, they were, they're super cute. They have some age to them. I know some little doll collector is just going to love them to add to their collection. So that was my favorite. I would love it if you would leave in the comment section down below what your favorite find was from today's video. Uh, that's all I have for you today. I will be back on Sunday with my weekly Sunday thrift haul video. So until then, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. Bye for now, and thanks so much for watching.